let's learn about components in Vue.js okay so let me show you what components is by uh, showing you one example okay first of all we'll include the view in our project so just copy this code I'll just copy it into my index.html okay after uh, the view is included uh, this is a CDN next uh, I'll use a framework called Bulma and uh, so here are different components so for example you want to display a message uh, in your application so this is the thing you might do over and over again to display different kind of messages so uh, let's make it reus uh, reusable by making a component of it so I'll copy just this part paste this in our project also we have to include Bulma in our project so just search for Bulma CDN okay I'll include this minified version okay let's see this in our browser all right okay I'll wrap this inside container so that it will look slightly better okay now let's create another f uh, file uh, called main.js and we need to include that as well okay now we'll define our new view instance inside our main.js okay so new view and inside here we'll define the element so that we can link uh, this instance with this div okay so let's define this inside okay just outside container okay now so everything will be uh, inside this div alright so uh, now we want to define the component for message let's format the code first and then we'll just cut this out and inside here so we need to define component above this the way we define component is like new view dot component actually we don't need new just view dot component and uh, name of component so for example we want to give this name uh, user message and we need to pass object so here we have to name that template and inside back ticks okay we will insert our code so the code for that mes message okay okay now we if you see in our browser we should see nothing so because uh, so after uh, defining the component we need to use it like here like so okay now if we refresh okay if you see in console here uh, you can debug like so and if you look at here here is slightly space so that was causing an error okay so now if we save and reload Oh, actually we forgot to wrap this inside quotes okay so okay now we, we see our message so now if we click cancel it is not responding uh, now we need to add that functionality so uh, as you see we define the component and just we use just name of component here in order to display this component so now we can reuse uh, this component in several places so for example if you want to display another message you can just replicate this and it will show another so this uh, this might you you might want to show this in different places uh, okay at the moment it is displaying same content uh, we want to make this dynamic right so uh, different title different body to do that just we'll define first here title equals to 
user message and body equals to user message body all right so now that we are passing this variable we need to define it here so this will be title title and so inside this body body so if we now refresh we yeah so here is like typo okay we should see nothing right because uh, we are passing variable from here but we need to uh, do one more thing here so let's define another props and the property will be title and body alright so let's refresh once more so now we can see the title and body okay so this is how you pass variables from here okay so for different messages we want to display like login message all right and login successful something like that okay now you can see another message all right so this might be coming from database okay so you don't need to hard code this all right so after that we want to make the functionality where if we click on this button it should it should just remove this all right so let's go to main.js so here is delete button okay so what we can do here is so if someone click on this so this is the uh, event click event so if someone click on that what we'll do is uh, display button equals to false all right so we'll do display button equals to false so by default what we'll do is we have to define data so data return so inside component uh, we have to return data like this okay function method so this is es6 syntax uh, what you can do is data double colon and then function okay so this is a sort end so we need to return an object so here uh, true by default and whenever someone clicks on that uh, we'll make that false so actually let, uh, let's make this uh, display message because we want to toggle the display our message okay display uh, whenever user clicks on this uh, we want to make display message equals to false okay so by default it will be true uh, if someone clicks then it will be false uh, one more thing we want to do is uh, we want to make this container so v so or v if only so this container if uh, display message all right so if there is a class call sorry this variable called display message defined only so this container otherwise uh, don't show this okay you can do b if uh, that will do same thing and what we are doing here whenever someone clicks make that false so that uh, this variable no longer will be defined and we will not see this article go to browser refresh no errors on console click click all right yeah so that's working all right so this is how we make simple components so as an exercise you can make multiple uh, components and try to become comfortable with making view components